Hey there and welcome to this look over my shoulder video. In this video I'm going to be breaking down how the aspects of fan page commenting works. There's a couple different things I want to show you here. We're, um, I'm going to show you a little bit more than what I brought up in a slideshow. So that's cool, You're getting a little extra bonus I guess you could say. So let me explain how the commenting works. Okay, this is this is not going to be the ideal situation and it's simply because I'm the only admin here and I want to make sure that these comments do stick and that you see what they are without having to go to um, somebody else's page. So what you see here is since I am the admin, I'm at a, I'm at a fan page here and I am logged in as Jameson and I'm using the account as Jameson. I'm using Facebook as Jameson. So that hasn't changed and I'll explain that here in a few minutes. So if I were to comment and just say, great fan page, I love the wall posts, and I have liked it, so I don't miss anything. All right, let's say I were to say that. Traditionally, when I press the share button, what's gonna happen is this is going to say Jameson Brandon here instead of this as well as when I hover over it's going to show me my thumbnail will go here but as you can see what's going to happen it's not going to look like that reason why I'm bringing this up is because traditionally when you're logged in as yourself and you're trying to comment it's going to be commenting as if it's you and that's not always ideal when you're doing fan page baiting like I've brought up Okay, so just keep that in mind. So that's the basics. Now let's build from there, okay? Now there's some things you can do. I'm still gonna use Facebook as Jameson, and now let's try something else. Let's type in the at symbol, and we're gonna type in an F. And you're gonna see that some of the pages that I'm an admin of are gonna pop up. I might blur those out, but the top one you see here is FB Offline Assault. So that's gonna allow me to quickly select that if I wanted to, and if not, I would just keep on typing. If I if my selection or what I wanted to add in as, as a hyperlink it was not there, then I would just keep on going and keep on typing. But it is there. So we're going to type that. We're going to say, um, this is a great resource showing what can be done with custom fan pages. They have over 20 examples oops let's move that so that you guys can see I have over 20 examples of custom tabs okay so let's say we wanted to say that right and then I go and I press share okay a couple different things happened here all right first and foremost it would still show up as me Jameson Brandon okay and I would have my image here but what's changed is look at what I've done. I've just dropped a link, a real nonchalant link that's going to, as I've brought up in the slideshow, you're going to have tons of people curious what is this. They're going to hover over it. You have a high amount of likes. Maybe that'll prompt them a cool image. Maybe that'll prompt them. I could just simply click like from right there. Boom, just liked it. See, just liked it. Want to click through? They could do that. Click through here or there or they could just click on it instead of hovering over. So now I've effectively just dropped a link in kind of a stealth kind of way. And the benefit of it is that I built, you know, I, I kind of built this guy up a little bit and I was just like, hey, um, this is a great resource because it kind of maybe matches with what they're doing. And so he'll, he'll like that and he'll leave that. Okay, so the, the basis of getting these to stick is finding things that are similar or relatable in your niche going off and trying to comment on every single wall that's open or every single comment board that's open is just not really ideal and the reasons why it's not ideal is because first and foremost the amount of people who are going to be want to click through or even be interested is going to be like slim to none and then the the second thing is is that it's not really related to the page so they're going to delete the comment the wall post whatever it is that you're doing quite quickly in my eyes if it's a maintained page so not really worth it find the relatable pages okay comment wall post on those okay so now that we've covered that let's go into 
another, let's take a, a step deeper and let's grab the fan page URL and let's show you what that looks like. Here's what, it, what happens before I even type anything out, but let's just say is sweet. For some reason, I just want to go with these simple sentences today, so we'll just stick with that. Um, so then you post it up. Once again, it'll look as me, my name here, linking to my profile. You see this, this link here. Again, the small benefits are th what you see here. The sharing features are the same, like, comment, share, like, comment, share. So it, it's got a little different icon here. It takes up more space. Visually, it might grab you. But again, a page owner isn't going to like that as much um, as a wall post. So um, again, you might want to test this out. Maybe you're, you know, your VA is testing this out for you. Whatever it is, um, definitely kind of kind of do a little trial and error with that and try and build up the value of the page that you're commenting on before you get, you know, before you kind of press that share button. Okay, so now that we've worked through that, let me show you the second quick aspect and then we'll, we'll get wrapped up here. Second aspect is a newer feature to Facebook um, introduced in 2001, or excuse me, 2011. And what that is, is use Facebook as a page. So let's say I wanted to use this as a page, um, FBI Offline Assault. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Use it as a page. Now you see here, okay, so I know that I'm using it now. So my identity is FB Offline Assault now, not Jameson Brandon. Okay, so now let's come back, let's refresh. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the same thing. And let's now go tons of awesome marketing resources. Um, I already like the page and we'll follow the news feeds, feed stories, something like that. Okay, so let's say that was my comment and then go ahead and share. So you see the different element now? Now it's all linking back to FB Offline Assault as if it's because it's, it's its own identity. Okay, so there's a benefit right there. Let's say you didn't even want to risk dropping a link or hyperlinking or doing anything. You can just keep coming onto somebody's wall and commenting simply as FB Offline Assault and providing tons of value. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you really quickly is now let's do it as the quiet, the quiet way to drop a link, I guess. Super sweet. Okay, share. That's what that looks like. Again, you see the benefits here to, to posting under this identity and it's anonymity as well. So, you know, you might not want to be doing this stuff under your personal account, whether it's you doing it or your VA or whatever you've got going on, but this leads to the same place. So they could follow through, like it, do whatever they want right from within there. Okay, so uh, that wraps up this video. I want to cut it there. And, um, you know, I hope you guys got some value out of this.